So ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video of uh, Moon Venus in the 11th house of your birth chart. As in what happens when Moon and Venus are in the 11th house of your birth chart. And as always, if you do not know if you have these particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, for that check out the link here, karasastrology.com where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and LinkedIn Academy, Magavad Astrology Academy, where I've uploaded the secrets to Ascendant, for one Ascendant, uh, as a Guru Purnima type thing. So check it out, because the course on that will be coming. Now, 11th house is a house of hopes, wishes, desires, recognition, achievements, awards, large organizations, elder siblings, mm, paternal uncle. You know, I mean, I can keep going on. It represents your children as well. And why does it represent your children? I thought it was a fifth house. Well, 11th house is fifth from the seventh house. That means your spouse's children. That means your children. So here, moon and Venus. Now, I'm going to say this. Knowing that there's no other impact on these planets by conjunction aspects. It's just moon, Venus. Okay, once you add other planets, you should now be able to, after a whole decade of me talking about placement, now you need to work those things. But this, okay, this is a, first of all, placement of attraction. People are just attracted to this individual. People are attracted to you. Now, of course, depending upon the sign, your attraction will change. Certain things may bring about sexual attraction. Some things will bring about charming attractions. Something will bring about communicative attraction. Something will bring about nourishing attraction. You know, so that's the, uh, that's the main thing. The other thing you will see is that they always benefit through women in their life. Regardless of the fact that they're men and women, doesn't, want, doesn't matter. They always tend to find success through women. women. Again, depending upon the impact on these planets you will see how that how these things occur because also besides the conjunction and aspects of this these planets there's another thing that you have to kind of see you know it, it is the avastha of the navamsha how far they have gone from that particular sign that actually matters the most as well also you will see you will produce beautiful children I mean, just good-looking, beautiful, attractive children. It also shows um, one tends to gain wealth, okay? Whenever, and, and again, I'm only saying this from my own research observations, but this really applies in the chart of men. I don't know, it could ch apply in the chart of women, Maybe let's say if you are a lesbian couple, then yes, this can apply for you as well. Uh, but I've always seen with this position when a man buys a jewelry for their spouse, gifts them a jewelry, they get more gains and fulfillment of desires in their life. And of course, you can also do this with the mother as well. But so far, this far, I have only can say this more with uh, spouses and especially in the case of men. And of course, this also shows that one can find absolute recognition, you know, through music, business of jewelry, fashion. Even if they're not, you will see that these people, they'll kind of be recognized for how they kind of conduct themselves out in the public, how they kind of show themselves out in the public. Now, one of the other things you will also see because of this Venus moon conjunction, regardless of the placement, people get jealous of this individual. They will attract, again, this is a placement of attraction, but I didn't say exactly what will you attract. You can attract all kinds of things. So like say, for example, at night, you put that bug zapper, right? The light that, you know, and especially in country, you will see a lot of folks do that because there's mosquitoes and all of that and it zaps. Now, if you think you can only attract fairies with this thing, if let's say it was a fairy attractor, fine. 
but all the other bugs will also see that. Oh, who is this? What is this bright thing that I'm seeing? Let me go to it. And I was like, oh, I don't like this because they're kind of like challenging my own persona, my own aura. Hmm. So, but contrary to that, there's two polar opposites to this. Attracting jealous people, but also being jealous of their significant other. Like, and this is, this is something I've noticed. Okay. Where they will get jealous on little things. Like if the significant other looked at somebody else. You know, because if it's like there's this feeling of possession, like, oh, I, now you're mine and you're mine now only. They don't know the concept of freeing, freeing someone if you love them. Okay. So anyway, guys, um, this was my analysis of Moon Venus conjunction in the 11th house. Remember, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss the top of videos. If you want to know where your Moon and Venus are placed, along with all your slot details, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow with some special video. Bye-bye.